questions for Jason? Start with Tom Habeshro. Hi, Jason. Um, it's been about two months since you battled COVID and Earlier tonight, Fred Van Vliet had talked about pretty candidly his symptoms that he recently battled. Uh, talked about how he felt it in his bones, he felt it in his blood and his muscles. And I'm curious, two months since you battled COVID, are you all the way back conditioning wise and on the court feeling like your wind is all the way back? I know a month ago you had said that sometimes it felt like you were having a little bit trouble or fatiguing a little bit faster than normal. So I'm just wanted to hear from you, how that's going uh, back on the court. And also, have you reached out to other players like Fred Van Vliet or other players who recently contracted COVID and just relayed some of your experience and had any advice for those other players? Um, I mean, I, yeah, I do feel better. Um, for the most part, I, I feel pretty good. Obviously, uh, there are some games that are better than others conditioning wise and um, just with my breathing, but I have noticed that just from the first game back from um, having it, um, you know, the progress has been good. I have gotten better. I don't feel the same that I did like before I had it, but I'm sure it's trending in that direction. And uh, yeah, I have talked to other guys in the league you know, about their experience and just other athletes that have experienced it um, around the time that I had it. Gary Washburn. Jason, um, it seems like when you play the elite teams, the Lakers, the Nets, the Sixers, there's kind of the last four minutes you guys kind of slip and, and the other team makes more plays to close it out. What do you guys have to do to close out games like this against the elite teams? I think, um, uh, especially like a team like the Jazz, I think what makes them really good is they, more often than not, they just make the right play, uh, make the right read. And, um, you know, we're more than capable of it. It's just doing it more often than not. Chris Ryan. Yeah, Jason, just kind of along those lines, I mean, do you see anything else that, that separates those with the Nets, whether it's the, the Jazz from from you guys at this point, and and how do you get to that point where where they're at? I mean, I feel like we've been playing a lot better, you know, recently. Um, just you know, some nights shots aren't falling as we would like them to, um, but um, we we're for sure playing better. I can I can say that. I feel it. I think it's obvious when we play uh, we've lost to some some really good teams uh, recently uh, that we felt like that few mistakes here and there that we could change um, the outcome may have been different but you know we're playing better just uh, you know we make some more shots we'll feel better about ourselves John Corrales Jason, you're generally a guy who likes to get the ball and kind of survey what's out there before you make a move. Um, but Brad continues to preach like quick decisions and ball movement. How do you balance that? How do you how do you work the ball around a little bit more while still playing a game that you're comfortable playing? Just being instinctive, uh, having a feel for the game. It's just what I've been doing my whole life. Bob Schron. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, Jason, uh, uh, two quick related questions. Number one, didn't look like an offensive foul against Clarkson was 98-95. And it, the point I'd like to ask you about is, does a team like the Jazz establish a physicality which permits them to get calls like that? I mean, and is that something that also you guys need to build up to? Because it, you got a lot of 50-50 balls tonight. Um. Uh. The first part, I don't know if that was a question. Uh, I agree with you, but, you know, they caught off as a foul. Got to move on. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're a good team. Well coached. Uh, you know, they play well together. They got some really talented guys. And, 
I mean, they're a good team. And, you know, their record shows that. And yeah. Final question, Mark D'Amico. Hey, Jason, quick follow up on John's question about the, the ball movement and the quick decision making, and not necessarily from your perspective, but from the team's perspective. What is the process of speeding those decisions up as a team um, to be able to put the opponent in, in binds the way that Utah does on a nightly basis? Um, just some stuff we got to work on in practice. Uh, you know, if we, you know, watch film, translate that to practice and stuff, um, you know, it'll translate to the game. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Mm -hmm.